Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to play a little bit of Kenji. Depending on your feedback and reaction, this might potentially be a new project that we can do on the channel. Kenji is a game under my radar for a long time already. It has been in early access for the longest of times, but it seems to be at the end of the beta phase, which means it will soon be released, hopefully early 2017. I've always wanted to play this game on my channel, but I wanted it to be a little bit more fleshed out. And considering we're playing Mountain Blade Warband at the moment, I thought this might be kind of fitting as well. Now, Kenji is one of these games that are just absolutely fascinating. What you can see here is our first character. He's called Nate and he is actually totally naked and he's even got a broken arm. So I decided to go with the start that gives you absolutely nothing. Now just a little bit as the interface is concerned, right here you can actually see my condition. We are currently very hungry and also our left arm seems to be in poor health. But it is actually in the process of healing, as you can see, indicated with the yellow color. So obviously food is going to be our first concern. However, in order to get food we either have to kill, for which we need a weapon, or we have to gather some money. Currently we have zero monies as you can see, but it is the first day and we shall first of all find an encampment. Now if we hit M we can bring up the map and you can see this is currently available in this stage of the game. Of course once the game is released all of this map is going to be available and this is a huge map let me tell you that. It is also handcrafted so nothing is randomly generated and hopefully we will see some interesting stuff, I'm not sure yet. Zooming a little bit closer we can actually see what things we have here. I think first of all I want to make my way to the hub because I do know that there are selling places and that's what we want in the beginning. We want to buy some food potentially or leech off others by interfering after some fights for instance we can loot the people etc etc. Now this game has something really nice in store for us. Namely the way you level up your stats. If we have a look at my stats right here, we can see there are plenty of them in there and the way we level them up is by doing something. For instance, if you want to increase thievery then you have to steal stuff. If you want to increase uh, martial arts then of course you will have to fight and you can also see on the left side the stats that are affected by martial arts and also ways you can train. We of course start at the bare minimum, we really start with the rock bottom solution here but that's fine, we can actually increase all of our stats just by living and doing our thing. So why don't we go ahead and actually click on the hub with the right mouse button and this is gonna make our guy actually go as soon as we unpause with the spacebar and of course we can double click Nate in order to actually follow him. Now he's gonna make his way over there and we should actually observe very well what is going on. For instance we discovered a lone shack so maybe we check this out for a second, yeah this guy here. It might be wise to actually visit this first so I'm gonna click right there as well and then we have the time to scout out a little bit. We can actually detach the camera from wherever we are and have a look around things. Oh yeah, we're gonna see a lot of this actually, man. We will have to travel so much in this game. Also, the traveling isn't as straightforward as in previous versions anymore. There are a lot of mountains in the way, making it a little bit hard. Anyways, right here we actually come across a copper mine. So let's check this out. Well, it's not a mine. No, it's not even copper. It is actually just an iron resource, but the iron quality is 100. So I think what I'm going to do is tell Nate to actually dig a little bit right there. There we go. And if we click on this, we can see a progress bar. And as soon as that's done, we will be getting one raw iron, which we can put in our inventory. Now this is going very slowly in the beginning, but if we click on ourselves we can see that we are at the moment increasing our laboring skill and with that increased we will of course be able to gather them up more quickly. Also the more quality your resource has, I think the faster you can get it out of there. Now in order to speed this up a little bit, I'm going to increase the time and we can just watch the progress bar a little bit. There's gonna be a lot of uh, progress bar watching, at least in the beginning, I think. With time, especially if you increase your members of the squad, you will always have something to do. 
Now, there is a lot to this game and I will probably fail to mention everything in the first episode, so you will just have to bear with me for a little bit. But there is actually also base building, so you can build entire settlements, etc. And I just see there are a couple of guys coming towards me, but I think, yeah, they're just slave traders. I don't think they attack me right off the bat, at least not right now, because I'm just a nobody, though I kind of look like a slave. Anyways, now that we have our first raw iron, I think we're just gonna get out of here and I want to go towards them. They actually do look friendly, especially because I could theoretically talk to him. Let's see if we can do that. Hello? Ah, there we go. I'm looking to buy some slaves. Yeah, that's another thing. You can actually make your own slave business, probably populate some fields that you can build in your settlements. Wow, it's actually crazy what this game offers. Uh, what are you trading? Slaves, of course. This is a slave shop. Yeah, of course. But they don't look like they have any slaves. They do have dogs, though. That's nice. Anyways, we don't want to deal with that shebang just yet. Another thing that I want to mention is that you really have to take care of everything you do. For instance, there is a skill called athletics right there. And you gain athletic skill by running with as less encumbrance as possible. So if you have nothing in your inventory, you train it the best. Also, we can see that if we unpause the game and walk a little bit, we should be able to see that we are training the athletics skill. And if I had much more in my inventory, then this would actually go down, this percentage of training. Anyways, I'm gonna speed up the time a little bit in order to get closer to that loan shack. And we want to see what that is all about. Anyways, right now we are making our way to the loan shack. And you can see the hunger bar isn't going down too quickly. So you surely have a day or so before you would actually starve. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is the loan shack. This looks like a, a trading hub, actually. So maybe before we make our way in there, let's see if we can find another resource somewhere around here. And then we pick up a couple of resources so that we can actually purchase our first food. Ah, okay, so for instance, I can see a resource right there. So before we actually go into this bar where we can purchase stuff, we want to go to the resource and mine it out. So that is gonna probably take a while. Yeah, there we go. Get started, Nate. And we already have a laboring skill of two. You can see it is actually decreased by 14% because we are a little bit hungry. So we are not being as efficient as we could be. But there we go, we are going to town and as long as it's not too bad with the hunger, I'm actually gonna keep going for just a tad. And there we go, we have a full inventory. Let's actually see where we need to go with that. We want to go towards the bar, I would say, yes. It's also another day and we are still hungry, but we had a lot of time. I could do this even twice, though now I'm really, really slow, as you can see. Oh, jeez. And also, wow, I'm really starved out. You can actually see it. As soon as I'm gonna eat up, I'm actually gonna look much, much better. No, I'm starting to identify with this guy. No, he's actually probably gonna die. This is Nate. This is a completely different person. Anyways, uh, hurry up a little bit. There you go. Okay, as soon as we have been inside the house once, we will be able to see the interior also from the outside. And she is already happy to see a new customer. And of course, I have to go all the way around. Why not talk to her like a normal person? Oh, well, it's a bar man. Interesting. Okay, well, let's do business. And she has a whole lot to sell. Look at that, especially food. Now, the nutrition value is very important. This one here only gives 25, for instance. This one is even worse, only gives two. So we need to have a good, you know, nutrition to price ratio. This one here gives 75 nutrition. This is almost the best, I would say. Mm, this also gives 75, but it is more expensive. Yeah, let's go for one of those. But before we can afford it, of course, we have to sell a couple of these guys. We can sell them for 116, actually. So that's not too bad. We already got over 1000. Holy cash. Okay, let's grab one of those and immediately my guy is going to eat it up, actually. And now my hunger bar is gonna go up and I'm gonna look much healthier. 
Now, can we afford anything else is the question. An iron club. No, look at that. That's all very, very expensive. But I was able to make very easy money, actually. You know, thinking about it. Well, I think what we should do is maybe purchase another one of these foods. This one is very cheap. And then, I guess, another one of these apples. Yeah, that's also a good value. Okay, with that out of the way, we should have enough food to do another day's work of mining. And of course, since we have this copper mine, which is very nicely placed for us. Oh, look at that. There's actually much more. So you can almost make unlimited money if you have the patience for it. But of course, we also want to do other stuff. But for the time being, you know, starting at the rock bottom, we might want to do little baby steps here. So let me actually grab another load of iron and I'll be right back. Oh, 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 jeez. I will see my family again. I have to survive. Someone is fleeing from here. What is happening? I just wanted to chip back in because I'm almost full. And then we have this escaped servant. And this is also an escaped servant. So maybe they are being chased. What is this? Yeah, also escaped servant. Well, let's observe what happens. I'm actually not sure. I don't think... Uh-oh. Are they talking to me? Oh, I think they're talking to me. <laughs> Let's try something witty. I mean, right now I cannot walk with that. Oh no, can I not drop this on the floor? Yeah, one lesson you definitely need to learn is that you can be ambushed at any given time. Okay, let's see. Well, ah, okay, so it does actually drop on the floor. Okay, that is good to know. So we're just gonna stack that up right here. I was a little bit worried there. And that means we should be fast enough to uh, hopefully... Oh no, it's auto-saved. <laughs> That's fine. We should be fast enough to get to the inn. Oh yeah, just run past... Oh, Nate. Nate, run faster, dude. I don't believe this is happening. Hopefully they are actually gonna help me in here. Yeah, we're being attacked, but they are missing from the looks of it. So we're going up here to the guard. Come on, first floor. Oh, guard, help me. Help me. Oh, why are they... Are they not helping? Oh, Jesus. They are definitely not... Ow. Okay. Why are they not helping me? <laughs> That's so mean. You little bastard. Well, it's fine if you actually get attacked. It increases your toughness, so everything that happens to you... But I don't understand why the Holy Nation isn't helping me against these escaped servants. I mean, that doesn't make sense. And also, they didn't rob me, but they made sure I'm really unconscious. And you can actually see, I got the chest beneath zero. That means I'm actually unconscious until this gets above zero. That's really something I don't understand. And now I'm being picked up. What the heck is going on? Don't show my bum to everyone like that. Hopefully he's bringing me into a bed or something like that. Or maybe he's just chucking me outside. That could also be. <laughs> what are you doing? He really... What the... Whoa! This game is amazing! <laughs> What a bunch of bastards. Well, that's how the game goes. Let's actually see if we kind of survive this. We are in a recovery coma, so we are not losing blood or anything. We could be in the worst condition, but this doesn't seem to be the most adequate position to lie in, considering what just happened to us. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more of this, we will have our revenge. I'm pretty sure of that. I just actually ate another thing, but that's fine. But you can see we are actually much better nourished at the moment. Not sure how I managed to eat something while unconscious. Anyways, guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we have awoken and I actually also grabbed what we dropped over here and I got a little more so that we had our inventory full. I actually ate everything and I sold everything and purchased some more food, which we already ate again apparently. But you can see this is the end number 1559 coins. That's actually not too bad. Our labor thingy majingy is at 19 already, so we are pretty much set and done with that. The injuries to my chest are slowly but surely healing. I would say our next destination should be the hub. So why don't we go ahead and just make our way over there? I mean, what can go wrong? What really can go wrong? Everything. Let's actually make sure there are no barbarians or something in the way. Well, it's actually not barbarians. I think it's more like bandits. There are a lot of bandits. So what is this? Is this the hub? Oh yeah, it is actually already the hub. Hold the phone. This is a little bit different from what I remember. Well, let's just make our way over there and see what it is. 
Hello, it's Nathan. I need something to eat and also I need some clothes maybe. Ah, okay, so there are a couple of guys over there, but is there maybe a trader of some sorts? This doesn't look like a functional hub, this looks like ruins. Okay, but there is a bar, so there might be a medkit of some sorts, we need that. Nate is making his way to the bar, he's taking the more obvious way, and here we are. Come in, have a browse. Of course, I will. Please have some medkits, that would be great. Oh, we might be able to get a companion here. Let's do some business. He's got a couple of blueprints and books and crafting materials. Ah, can't wait to explore this all. But doesn't look like he has something that I really want, which is a medkit. But we might be able to talk to some guys. Yes, that's it. Have a drink on me. See? Have you ever heard the story of the Wailing Phantom? No, what is it about? Well, legend has it that it dwells in a sunken cave south of the sands. I hear it has bones made of solid diamond. Just one tooth would fetch you kabillions, no, poo billions of cats. Okay, cats, that's what the money is called. It has the gigantic tongue of a lusty tree hag and a marvelous pair of bingo wings that droop like smooth potato butter. Some even say that it has the snout of fondled truffle. Even the most handsomest of man warriors haven't been able to hunt the peppery thing down. That, that sounds amazing, how do I find it? If I knew that, I would have tracked it down myself. But if you're going to head out in search of it, you must take me with you. Call it an old dying man last wish. Then I will grant you your wish, old man. Join me in the search of this. Did we actually already get a companion? Wow, I feel really lucky. Check this out. Pato is our new companion in the squad and he's doing fine for himself. Got lots of dexterity, a little bit of strength, dodge, okay, zero toughness. I mean, our toughness has gone up because we have been beaten up. But there we go, and he possibly also has an inventory, doesn't he? Yeah, check this out, it's actually his inventory here. Oh, cool, but he doesn't have a weapon either, so that's kind of sad, and he probably also requires food. But now we can actually mine already together and do much more work, I would say. Let's talk to more guys. You get up in my space, you ask for an ass kicking. So let's go, idiots. I don't think we can take them on. Sorry, I don't want to have any troubles. Go run back home to your mom. <laughs> what is he talking about? Oh, I'm actually steering Pato at the moment. I want that Pato actually follows Nate. So I'm gonna shift click Nate and... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I actually made him into the medic. Okay, that is actually also a good thing, but I want you to follow me. Ah, a long right click allows you to make him follow you. If you shift click the follow button here, it's gonna go into his job list. So now he's the medic and staying close to Nate. Let's see if that actually works. If I steer Nate, yeah, there we go, he's following me. Great, love this game. It's gonna be great, guys. Boy, I'm thirsty, buy me a drink. Sure, have a drink? Ah, that's good. I gotta lay low for a while. Figured this dingy bar would make me a nice new home. Gotta live off free drinks and cheating people at gambling. See, huh. why are you hiding out? The hat trader, I won't say which town, heard he had a good stash of loot, but he caught me in his shop middle of the night. I had to keep him quiet, know what I mean? Ha, huh, it was a mess after I was finished with him. Let's just say he won't be walking again or much else. Uh, do we want this thug in our group is the question. Well, actually, I want to be some kind of a shady character myself. I want to steal a lot, you know, break in, kill a lot. It's a post-apocalyptic scenario, so that's just how it goes. Let's say, well, these things happen. Should have stayed in bed if I knew what was good for him. I got my stash, that's all that matters to me, alright? My lost cats drowned away in this crap hole bar. How about you be a good boy and buy me another? I'm kind of running dry here. Okay, sure, we have enough money for that. Ah, drinking drowns out the voices in my head. That didn't really help. Let's talk to this guy. Well, nothing. Never mind. Okay, these were all the dudes, but at least we got one more companion. I mean, that is better than nothing, right? Is there anything noteworthy on the top floor? I think there are a couple of mercenaries, yeah, but they would be too expensive for me at the moment. And also, there are too many guards to really steal anything. By pressing Alt, I can see what potential things I can steal. 
But that's not gonna be worth it right now. Yeah, I, oh wow, there's a lot of things here. But people see us, so never mind. Let's get back out and do we want to buy some more food? The question is, where are we going? Do we want to go to Squin? That might be a possibility, you know? Or we go across here. I do know there's a couple of towns here that we haven't uncovered yet. One thing I know is that we need weapons, man. We need weapons and armor. Without that, we're pretty much screwed. Yeah, doesn't look like there's much more in this town. Let's go to Squin and try our luck over there. Woo! We are not alone anymore. This feels so good. So good. Wow, look this huge copper vein. It's insane. It's so funny that they practically run all the way. I mean, this must be so exhausting. Ah, we discovered a couple of encampments, but I'm not sure if they are friendly towards us. We really need to purchase a weapon first, so I think some more labor work is gonna be the solution. But I'm hoping that we find a lot more traders in Squin, especially ones that also trade us medkits. Ah, they just opened up the door for us. That is actually nice. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I can already see a shopping banner over there. So this will be a shop. Let's actually see if they let us in here because they're not humans and they call us flat skins. Smuggling checks. Remove your effects, flat skin. Okay, show them my gear. Yeah, I mean, I have nothing. I just, you can have a look into my underwear if you want to. The shop is currently closed, so I don't think we should actually go into there. But what we can do in this town or possibly near the town is do some more mining and prepare for the next day. I mean, right now we're doing very well hunger-wise, so maybe we can find a mining spot. This is actually a pretty cool city. It also has a bar right here. Let's see if the barkeeper has some medkits. Hello, uh, are you the barkeeper? Come on, let's try. Yeah, look at them. They look really weird. And yeah, he also doesn't have any med kits, but I'm sure one of the traders in this town will. For now, let's find a mining spot. Oh, funny thing, there is actually a mining spot right here. It is not the best efficiency, but we can totally do it. Let's go ahead and mine. We're actually gonna click both of our guys and mine, so we can even get more efficiency out of it. Pato and Nate. I wonder if we ever have to fulfill the quest of Pato or if he is just gonna help us no matter what. There we go. Now we got them both working on it, though it looks like Pato is scrubbing my back. But that's absolutely fine. Let's see if it goes actually a little bit quicker. Doesn't really feel like it, but then again, this copper vein is only like 40% efficiency. But there we go. I guess I'm gonna do that until it is morning again and all the shops are opened. Another thing we could consider doing is some training. Maybe we can spot some training dummies on a roof. That might be cool. Yeah, there are actually a couple of training dummies right here. So what is this building? We could actually train ourselves, though does that make sense without weapons? I guess we could train our martial arts. Well, for now, I'm happy enough to earn some more cash right there. But just for shicks and giggles, let's still test it out. There we go. We have done this for long enough. We want to go ahead and move away from here. Is Pato coming with me? Yeah, I have to undo his mining job first. Okay. We want to go ahead and actually train on these dummies. I want to see this happening. Are you guys coming? Yeah, there we go. Nate and Pato, it's time for some training. We still have a couple of hours, I do believe. So yeah, nobody is complaining here that we are in this building. I'm actually glad. Sometimes they actually go after you. So unpredictable sometimes. Pato, keep up, keep up. Okay, Nate, you're gonna train, and uh, Pato, you're gonna train on this dummy. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna train up a couple of stats. I'm actually not sure what. Dexterity, maybe? Woo! Okay, so it is almost the next day. I think the shops open somewhat around half past seven or, or eight, I don't know. But we're gonna do some training maybe until it is lunchtime or so, and after that I'm gonna come back with the next episode. But yeah, guys, if you want to see more of this, don't forget to like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next video. Bye bye.